Hello everyone, today's video we are making a origami peacock. Quick and simple, if you like to do things that are quick and simple for kids or your friends or family, this is one of the best folds out there because it only takes like four or five minutes, less than that. So, as always, square sheet of paper for most of the simple things. Color side down. Actually, color side up and fold it in half. Open it up, color side down, and bottom to the center diagonal that you just folded. So, bottom crease to the center. This one's pretty straightforward. What you do on one side, you do for the other. Repeat on the other side. For you people having issues folding corners, there's several ways to go about it. Meet the line, gently get to the side, right there to the ends, and you can roll it in there and then slowly flatten it out. Another way is you get the corners first, flatten it out, and then while you're holding that as an anchor point, you can adjust your creases to match the lines you need. There we are. Flip it over. Once again, side to center, the bottom to the center. Bottom to the center. Turn around and repeat. Bottom to the center, just let that bottom flat come out. Don't worry about it. And one more time to the center. Should look like this. Flip it over. Very bottom to the top. Just fold it in half. At this point there's no really exacts. You could do the... well not really, it doesn't work that well. So just fold the paper down gently. You don't have to go crazy and crease it really hard. It's an estimate. Fold it in half. Doesn't matter which side, but I prefer holding it like this. Hold it right around, you see where the creases are? Hold it right behind, hold this part, and just gently pull, push, pull. And work your way down. When it gets to the corner and wants to fight, you could just give it a little nudge, give it a little nudge. They're basically forming a triangle right there. So from here, grab on, grab on, and work your way. If the corners get stuck, you can massage them. Push, pull, whatever you need to, to you get a nice corner triangle. So once again, fold it in half, fold it 
just gently fold it down. Fold it in half. Doesn't matter which side, but grab, grab, shape, flatten. You don't have to go too crazy if it's a little off forward, a little off back. It's not a big deal. So, next folds we are making is going to be from this corner to this corner. So, get a finger, follow the big middle part right under, and fold that from corner to corner. Give that a nice crease. Flip it over. You see where that last fold you made? Exact same thing, match it so both sides look the same. Corner, match it. To corner, crease. Now grab the big flap. You see that crease you just made? Just use that line. I'm just folding the, you don't even have to measure it. The paper will automatically go right there. Oops. Flip it over and repeat. You're just creasing it against the sides. There we are. You see how it's poofing up right here? Open it up. And we're gonna sink that right in using the creases you already made. And we're gonna repeat for the remainder two flaps. Here's one of them right here, and there's the other one right here. So open them up. Push it down. What I just did there was use a three finger, so. Open it up. Using thumb and middle, I open it up and I use my index and I push it down. That crease that's pointing up, it's gonna go pointing down, so. Get it down there, slowly pinch the sides. Using the creases you made already, and it should behave. And there you go, flatten it all out. Two more folds and we're done. So, next part's gonna be the neck. There's no exacts here. It's up to your liking, your shaping, your preference. So, all you need, you see that nice shape right here? I tend to use the neck to Go a little further out and get close to the tail right there. Give it a good crease. Open it up. See where those folds you just made, those two creases? Right where it meets the middle. I use a finger and just pop it up. Hold here. Slowly popping it up and originally the folds V, I want to make it into the opposite so squish it the other way. So I'll repeat, make a crease, open it up. Pop it open, squeeze, squeeze, flatten. I don't use valley fold phrases, I don't use mountain folds, because if you start getting into the really advanced stuff, it just collapses on itself. You just make a lot of folds and things start collapsing. The only thing you, the worst phrase that you want to hear when you're doing origami is sink folds. So until then, you don't have to worry too much when you're looking at my videos. 
Last part, you're just gonna need a make in the head. So up to you how big, how small, your preference. So fold it to generally where you want it. Once again, open it up. Push the tip in the head down, squeeze, work your way up. And using the creases you made, fold the head down. Now, last part, fold the tail, fold the body. There's a nice line right here, the crease right here. Just follow the body, fold it down, fold it down. Grab one end, grab the other end. You can use also the back, give a nice little squish down. And your peacock should stay open by itself. You can give it a little pull, do little light adjustments, and there's your little peacock. Once again, comments, questions, anything, just let me know. Thank you.